Hello guys, this is Alex speaking and today we will speak about a new Steam scam. Um, so, this being said, uh, I'll go directly on to the subject and I will show you uh, exactly what happened. So, I just posted the other day some items on a website, um, some um, CSGO items, I don't know, like boxes and guns and these kind of things. So actually what happens, everybody is just adding me in order to uh, trade these items uh, with me. Um, so I'm, I'm just accepting all the friends. Um, some of them, uh, they're, they're just spamming, and, but others, why not, are interested about my items. So actually what happened, uh, let me see if I'm able to find the chat that I had the other days uh, with a person. Oh, okay, this is it. This is just one of it, because actually um, the other guy uh, that I spoke with, um, uh, it is not in my friend list anymore. I just reported him. So actually, it is just this person just added me. Uh, as you can see on this chat, it is uh, asking me, "Are you here?" Are you hello, yes. Uh, the thing is that um, I I thought that it's this person. It is legit and it is honestly searching for. Uh, friend to play in a decent tournament as he or she is saying okay so like you see it is saying that I'm looking for uh, teammates to our roster um, so uh, they need semi pro players which I am because I'm not a, a pro player um, and I said hey, well, why not so it is asking me about the rank uh, I don't even know the ranks on CSGO uh, um, and it seems to be legit because it was asking about on what maps and what uh, what weapons uh, I play with uh, the, the, the user it is Daniel uh, Sin 570 yeah that's very uh, of course, uh, I just did what everybody is doing, like, I don't know, checking the profile. Uh, nothing seems to be suspicious. I, I noticed that it is level 10 or whatever it is making. Um, a very neat um, profile to say so, yeah. Um, and I said, yeah, wh what the hell, why not? I'm, I'm just speaking. So, uh, the, okay, they, we just spoke and at some point they, they provided me this link here. It is game fight info slash r slash outline. What the hell is this? I mean, at, at the first look, it didn't seem to be legit. But I said, uh, okay, uh, I can do this now. I'll do it later and so on. So actually, yeah, it was asking me uh, uh, when I'm finishing the registration because somehow uh, he's the leader of the group and uh, I must be accepted in this group and uh, said long story like this yeah okay so actually having this in my mind first thing uh, I did when I opened the um, uh, CSGO I just visit this site so actually I just clicked on it it is just opening um, I would prefer to open it in uh, in, uh, in my uh, Chrome browser. So actually, let me open the Chrome browser. Okay. 
So actually when you're going on this website, let's see, it seems that it is offline now or what is happening? Come on, what is happening? It seems that this, the website it is down now, uh, but what actually is happening, it is, they are asking you to log in on that website, uh, which I did. Uh, I had like two options on their website. Uh, one option was uh, to uh, login by using my email address, but for some reason uh, that option didn't work and the second option was to log on with my steam account So actually here they they caught me because uh, Of course, you know the when you're, you're using on another site to uh, To to log in you you're familiar with that steam pop-out uh, where it asks you to to log in. Uh, I thought that that is a secure login, um, but it was not. Uh, something happened there um, in the background, um, and I don't know, like minutes after I just uh, logged on, um, somebody was uh, somebody just added me and started to talk well i noticed that you are in on our team um, i think you noticed that um, in order to to compete on this uh, to to take uh, to to be in this tournament you have to um, to have uh, items below 10 dollars on your um, on your um, list so I actually uh, I don't know you can imagine that I don't have lower than ten dollars some of the items were on on, on market uh, when I was speaking with him so um, yeah I was trying either to place them all on the market but for God's sake like they're like 400 plus items uh, that's not so easy uh, to get rid of them and um, yeah uh, during this time I was on chat with this guy uh, like I said it is not uh, this person anymore somebody else took me on uh, on, uh, on on chat and um, yeah I was trying trying and it took me like two hours uh, to try to place them on on the market silly me <laughs> um, and he said come on come on what is happening and I, I told him I, I have like 400 items and okay here's the catch uh, he told me to just transfer uh, these items to another account of mine yeah or to a friend of mine that uh, didn't log on from a long long time um, well until here it didn't sound me fishy uh, because actually I said well yeah I can I can send to another account of mine uh, that didn't work I, I had uh, I had to change the password on, on my other account and um, I will I'm not able to to trade for 30 days or so um, so I said, okay, I'll, I'll just transfer to one of my friends, uh, friends that I know them, and uh, just in case they accept the the, the exchange, um, I'll be able to recover my items, you know. Uh, well, yeah, and this is what I did. I started to to move all 400 items and transfer them. I requested something from him as well. Um, and uh, here is the catch uh, since I have a mobile um, authentication um, after I placed the, the, the trade 
uh, I got the following uh, message on my mobile. Uh, let me check that. So actually, this is the message. Okay, and here it is where I needed to confirm this uh, this trading. Yeah. So as you can see, I was trying to to trade with poison. Yeah. This is one of my friends, and I got the following message after that. This user has recently changed their name and it is similar to your friend Poise on, yeah? Okay, well I said that's impossible, right? <laughs> and um, it is telling me you are no friends with this user. Oh, I said how the fuck it is happening this? It is impossible. And I read below that. And I read something like poison has a steam level of zero. Well, and here I it ring the bell because as you can see, my friend poison, uh, he has like level eight. And I said, well, something is fishy here, you know. And um, well, what I did, it I just declined the uh, I cancelled the the offer. So actually what happened after, um, this guy uh, told, uh, started to, uh, to tell me that, uh, you know, uh, you must do this uh, real quick because uh, uh, the admin from the website will block you, will ban you. You'll take your account will be locked and this kind of things and I said well this is this can't be done I mean let's let's be serious another thing that I know it is that usually scammers and fraudsters and uh, um, the fishers uh, sometimes uh, usually they are pressing you on time, you know, to provide them things like um, they're pressing you all the time. If you don't do this in five minutes, for example, your account will be locked. So actually they're trying to put you under pressure in order to provide them, I don't know, in this case, some silly items. Uh, so by knowing this, I said, well, yeah, let's let's. I'll take my time, you know, and chance. And I tried to uh, to speak more with this guy to see exactly what what uh, what member is, where is he from, and these kind of things. And after that, this happened. So actually, he said that my the admin from that website will just block my uh, Steam account, and uh, in the end. During while I was logged on Steam and I was speaking with him, I noticed that on chat that my um, avatar changed, my avatar image changed. So actually, I said, "What the fuck is going on?" Well, here I just checked my my profile, and usually I had here a, a Steam um, the Steam logo. And here was my name, like John Doe, that I'm playing with. And here I had like my Twitch and my YouTube account and these kind of things. And uh, I said, well, what happened? And I realized a few things. So one was that in order to, uh, if somebody uh, get got access, what got access to your account, so actually, uh, what happened in this case, for instance, it is it is more than clear that somebody got access to my account. So actually, uh, I, I scared a little bit, but I realized that for anything that you want to do on on an account, you'll need to pass the mobile uh, authenticator. So actually, they'll send you a thing in order to confirm or not anything you want to do on the account. Uh, almost anything because actually in order to, to change the, um, the avatar and the status here it is not required such a thing you know so yeah this guy for some reason I don't know by using a bot or something like that 
uh, changed my uh, my uh, avatar, my user ID, user profile name, and uh, inserted this silly message here, which I'll show you right away because I just screenshotted. Okay, so this was the message, and here's the guy. It is rocket underline twelve zero eight. You see, uh, it was popping out uh, on the right side while I was uh, screenshotting this uh, this message, and it says something like this: "Info, this is an automatic message. Your account will be banned if nothing would be done." Oh, warning, you have to send your skins to your friend or second account. Whoa, that's another whoa. From when an optional thing becomes mandatory, you know, this is the thing that you should think always. When somebody tries to push you anywhere with the scams and these kind of things, uh, this is how they try to um, to push you in order to take um, uh, silly decisions to say so under the pressure okay so if this won't be done they will be removed uh, they will be removed permanently who they who are they I don't know I don't get I don't get it the decision it is permanent and can and it can be undone. Your account will get banned on September 9th, 2019. Okay, so today we're in 10 uh, and nothing happened. Oh, I didn't get banned. Can you believe that? Okay, so um, actually uh, this guy got upset. I tried to, uh, to make him uh, more upset about this thing. And uh, at, at some point I just reported, I checked his account, I don't know if I'm able to find it anymore, Rocket1208, mm. let's try to find it, maybe we will be able to, Rocket1208, Okay, let's try with the search. Okay. Um, this rocket twelve zero eight. Let's see. Oh no, we can't find anything. So yeah. Okay. So actually. Um, I don't know, maybe we got banned or something like that. Let's hope so. Um, so the conclusion is that, yeah, you you must be very, very careful with this um, with this um, scams. Um, because uh, as you see, uh, they're taking you with something that you you might be interested in, right? and after that they are pushing you to do uh, to take different actions yeah and while i was doing this uh, this video uh, we can see here another guy that approaches me with the following message congratulations dear winner you got a, a knife well i think it is the best knife really so actually we have this uh, website here the websites usually are are decent made yeah they're very good let's let's check this one okay and as you can see the the website it is quite neat you know it is just like uh you you won you did something okay great okay let's see what is happening so Get a free knife. Use code 3398 to get your price. Okay, where should I place this uh, this code? So I'll just uh, okay. So 
like you see um, and here you have the option to sign in through and the only option here seems to be uh, steam okay let's push this button um, okay it is quite similar with the other uh, website that I logged on um, a few things you will need to check here um, this page seems to be a legit page uh, that pops you out in order to log in everything here seems to work uh, let's open a new, in a new tab yeah they're working maybe they they um, uh, saved the the links the real links only that i'm sure that here it is some something it is happening they're stealing your username and the password here you have a note that it is letting you know that this is this uh, it is not affiliated with steam or valve and i don't know i would take um, uh, a look but we can't do it here in order to check their uh, the script maybe we can find something yeah something is happening here the same thing that same okay i got a bayonet okay sign in through usually they pop out i'll try to uh, here you have two options to check this i don't know either you can um, inspect this but i would be interested to see the source of this page of this uh, New page source, yeah, okay. It's quite long. Okay. And let's try to find as you can see on this script it is nothing almost no no steam okay we found four steam these are just some links login icon this is nothing okay and the thing is that uh, what what i what made me think that this is a legit page uh, at some point when let's refresh this at some point um, somewhere on the right I'm, I'm checking the secure websites uh, I don't know for instance uh, the websites that are secured somehow yeah and uh, yeah they, they can be trustable yeah you can see the the certificates uh, if they're valid and a connection if it's secure yeah here you'll not be able to find something uh, like this just the connection it is secure but when you press here this I thought that it is legit yeah but this it is just a built-in uh, from this website so actually this is not legit okay so in order to check if this is a uh, real or not uh, I'll just log on by using another tab with steam I'm entering the steam address steam I don't know and I'll log in here Okay, I'll sign in. I got the code. In just a moment. CI CI seven X H. And 
Ok. Ok, here. I am already logged on uh, and here after I'm refreshing this page for instance and press sign in through here should this page should be automatically logged on so actually once I'm I'm logged on on a different page here this should be taken automatically so actually like i said this is not a legit page try to avoid it and why not uh, pass this uh, i don't know suspicious websites even if it's uh, it seems great to take i don't know this knife or something like that it doesn't work to to lose uh, your items from your um, uh, from your account so, I don't know, just let me know if you had a similar um, experience um, with this new way of um, getting uh, items on Steam. But please be aware, okay? We should have a great day from now on. Bye-bye.